What's up Average Dad fans? So you done it, you bought the new MacBook Pro, you're excited. But before you do anything, you should watch these 10 tips to help set your new MacBook Pro up the proper way, in my opinion. Let's go. The Migration Assistant should be great, normally is, however this time transferred over all my files fairly quickly and opened up some apps on my new laptop and they didn't work, particularly Teams which I need for work. So don't use Migration Assistant. Don't know why this isn't set up as default, however you need to enable your iCloud messages. Pop into your messages app, go to messages and preferences, then select allow iCloud messages from the messages tab. Or enable messages in iCloud I should say. So your dock, first part of tidying up your dock is to go into the dock and home screen and from the menu down at the very bottom you'll see show recent applications in dock. Just untick that. Tip 4 tidy up the rest of the dock. So remove any of the apps that you're not going to use. Simply right click, options, remove from dock. Still cleaning up here, but the app drawer. There are quite a few apps that I have never used on any Mac PC. I always just pop them into the other folder and typically never use them, ever. As you probably know if you watch any of my videos, I do have an eye condition, so I always scale up the display. So system preferences, display, display settings, and then choose the correct scaling for yourself. As you can see, mine's quite large. Focus modes is new on Mac OS and iOS 15. It transfers to all devices. Simply go to your top menu bar, select the grid, and in there you'll find focus from the control panel. You can add, work, sleeping, driving, lots of different focus modes in there. You can assign it to a particular person. You can also have the option to apply the focus mode to all devices. So your phone, iPad, and your MacBook. You know what they say, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Pair your Xbox, PlayStation, or any other Bluetooth controller so you can take advantage of the gaming capabilities on the new MacBook Pro. Not that NBA 2K 2022 is taking advantage of that, but I enjoy it. Depends what order you do this in. I've put this as tip nine. It's probably the first thing I do. I go into system preferences, general, then straight away I select Chrome from the default browser. Now you will have to download Google Chrome. Only takes a minute. Do that through your browser. And the final tip is just to change that screensaver time. Now by default, the screensaver I think is set to two minutes. You can see here in the system preferences and um, 
desktop and screensaver option. The, the timer, if you go over five minutes, a little warning thing comes up and that's just for efficiency. So I set mine to five minutes. So that was my top 10 tips. Essentially, that's how I set up my MacBook. It's not how you have to set up your MacBook or Mac, whatever Mac you're using. Um, just some tips. If you've got any of your own little hints or tips or specific apps that you download as soon as you get a new um, Mac computer, pop them down in the comments below. I always like to hear. Let's be honest, we, we, this won't be the only MacBook Pro starter guide or tips video that you watch on YouTube. If this is the first one you've watched on YouTube, thanks for scrolling all the way down that search page. Appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Hit that sub button. I think it helps. Who knows? Um, and yeah, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Take care.